What's going on everyone? So, Dollar Tree. They finally put a new wave of movies out and I decided to pick up a few things. So, let's get into it. Um, I only picked up two DVDs. The rest of them are Blu-ray. Um, mine was very slim picking because, well, I wouldn't say slim picking. The titles were very slim. A lot of it was just the same. They had multiple copies of the same movie, basically. Uh, Blu-rays and DVDs, so there wasn't really a whole lot to choose from, but I still did manage to find some cool stuff, so let's get into it. So we're going to start off with this Roger Corman uh, 5 movie collection. This includes the original Little Shop of Horror, uh, we have the Terror, Dementia 13, She Gods of Shark Reef, and Swamp Women. So looks pretty interesting. Never seen them. I'm trying to expand my film knowledge with, you know, a lot of these older films because there's a lot that I have not seen. This is a public domain company. I'm sure the quality is not going to be the greatest, but you do have two discs. But I figured why not? You got Jack Nicholson, Boris Karloff. So... Should be a, uh, a fun watch. Then I picked up some anime. Majority too, I will say, is anime. I uh, picked up this anime DVD. Satellite Girl and Milk Cow. Um, looks interesting, so I figured I would give it a shot. Shot Factory. You can't go wrong with them. Well, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Okay. I can feel it, but I'm going to try to get through this video before I do uh, picked up a film that I actually saw a review for this on YouTube and it really caught my interest it's got uh, Jerry O'Connell Rebecca Romain uh, it's the film Panic I think it's originally called Santanic Panic but they dropped the Santanic to, you know they don't want to cause some any controversial you know issues but from what I've seen, this movie looks crazy. Like, it's definitely interesting and weird and out there. But from what it, what I've seen, it looks pretty interesting. So I wanted to give it a shot. So for a dollar, why not? I uh, picked up Rendell Dark Vengeance. This is a uh, Shot Factory release. It's so really cool to find this. I think I had this at one point in my collection but ended up getting rid of it but for a dollar why not um, really cool to uh, find that uh, picked up a couple Digimon uh, blu-rays we have Digimon Adventure Try coexistence I haven't seen Digimon since I was a kid um, I believe there's six out of these films so Dollar Tree had at least three, and the rest of these are all Shout Factory. Uh, there was a lot of Shout Factory releases, which is pretty cool. Um, of course, you won't see like Scream Factory or anything like that. But Shout, I mean, if they start showing, you know, if, like Nickelodeon stuff starts showing up, or Beetlejuice the animated series, you know, things like that, then I'm gonna snag them. But uh, yeah, they had this. Um, really cool to find that. They also had Digimon Adventure Try Reunion. And they had Confession. So really cool to find the first three out of the uh, six. Looking forward to checking those out. And then the last three are just standard anime movies. So the first one we have here is Napping Princess. Looks interesting. Um, interesting name to say the least. So really cool not not bad in the way of picking up cheap anime uh, sound inforium I believe is how you pronounce that Inforium. I don't know uh, I'm sure I'm butchering it pretty bad but looks interesting uh, nonetheless and I do apologize for the uh, for the uh, sunlight I'm using my window so the lighting's not gonna be the greatest and then the last is Penguin Highway. So really cool to uh, find some anime there and Shout Factory releases. So there you have it. That's my uh, that's my Dollar Tree haul. Um, some cool stuff to find. I hope that the next wave 
they decide to do will be a little bit better. Um, especially, you know, in the way of their DVDs. They didn't have a whole lot. Um, I didn't. I, I was able to pick up a pretty decent amount of Blu-rays. Now, I don't know if every location has this, but I did come across some video games. My location had two PS3 games. So I mainly got those to flip because they go for, you know, a, a pretty, you know, decent price. Nothing too expensive, like five or six bucks I can make in profit, I think is a good for each i think is a, a good deal but yeah check out your dollar trees see if they have any ps3 games or just video games in general or you know some good titles because you never know what you're going to find but thank you guys for tuning in until next time take care and don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video